bold of them to try. Everyone else has regained consciousness except. But so will Deku, of course. Said Midoriya hasn't shown any signs of waking up. The real drama here is like just how people are feeling around this incident. Look at his poor hands. If he dies, I'll kill him. Right. <laughs> Of course he will. I'm just remembering the promise that All Might made to Deku's mom, and the fact that All Might is going through a whole emotional journey of his own, sitting on the sidelines, watching this happen to his colleagues, his protege, who he obviously loves and adores. Season 6 just shook up all the standards of what we expect and what we thought was possible. But there's still hope. This opening still makes me feel good. A lot of a lot of things to deal with. This is a reckoning. Where does Hawks go from here? Because I am here. <laughs> All Might is gone. All Might is not here. <laughs> that is the cutest villain. This is a cute elephant. I saw heroes every day as a kid, but they didn't seem real. More like people in another reality. Kago! I know you snuck into town. My wings were all tingly. He was discovering his powers. The TV is busted. You ever think maybe our crap would work if you found us some cash? Who needs cash when you have all the abundant riches of this household? I didn't expect it, but I really love this backstory for Hawks. The heroes not seeming real, seeming like they're part of a dream, seems to speak both to the problems we know about hero society, that there was this kind of glitter on the surface that didn't adequately address the realities of this world. And Hawks seems to be a great example of that reality. It's just not adding up. Move it! How many times do I have to tell you? Don't turn your back on me. Got it? If that brat had never been born, I'd still be free, god damn it. You really gonna say all this out loud? My mother loud? and father were broken souls. You don't say. I endured them, hoping I wouldn't turn out the same way. That's incredibly emotionally intelligent from a kid. This is weird, and it might sound pretty dark, but I think it's actually uplifting at its root that sometimes the, the best gift people can give you when you're young is making their failings abundantly clear. Because having a dream of what you want to become is valuable, but so too is having a dream of what you don't want to become. But freedom Your is a tough one, though. Caught. Tricky one. Oh no, what a tragedy. He got himself arrested by Endeavor. Oh, Endeavor arrested his father. That, that just took his heroism to new, new heights. Became reality. Yeah, yeah, that's crystal clear. So she took my hand and we left the only home I knew. Seems like he got the feather cork from his dad and like the floating was completely cork from his survival. mom. You don't say. It'd be easy to steal wallets and purses, but I couldn't. I don't know, he saved himself by choosing what to focus on. Plus, we'll provide total support for you and your family. You won't want for anything. What she really wants for is like a broom and cleaning supplies. Kego. Today you will say goodbye to that name. You're going to complete an exclusive program that will turn you into a special hero. This is how atrocious his family was. He's getting abandoned by his mom and he's relieved. Will I become a hero like him? The kind who stops bad people? Will I make people smile? Oh. Oh, it's a tough road ahead for Hawks. Hawks. Here we go. Hello? We're getting close. It's a long, long, long road. Tall they mountain to climb. you up so well back at Central, you'd still be wandering the halls between life and death. Their work is impressive. Are you okay? <laughs> this is an awesome team up, actually, these two. And he has a Batmobile, of course. It worked out in the end. You looked like a corpse when I brought you to Dobby. He even had your identity verified. Water under the bridge. <laughs> Oof. Sorry, bro. We're good though, right? You slept in suspended animation, floating in one of their secret facilities. Well, this answers the question I was Luckily, asking like a thousand times about where he was. You in time for you to save the day. Hang on. <laughs> Just when you think best genius can't get any cooler. Glutton God and his gang are taking over this whole district! Opportunists. Fiber fire! The Clothmobile. <laughs> Love it. Sure, sure. I like it. Somehow these villains that are just here for opportunism, taking advantage of the chaos and the void, are worse than the main villains. Not worse, but stealing those snacks is obviously a smaller scale, less tragic than what we've witnessed so far in this season, but there's something about the unprincipled nature of it, the fact that they don't even have anything to stand for, and are just kind of this weak, lurking evil that is its own kind of disgusting. Excuse this flamboyant capture. This is the hero we need right now, best genius. I mean, he might be number one now. Best genius, number one hero, that just feels right. It feels so right. 
I'll send you some of my own sidekicks. The crowd is Angry. split, as you would imagine. Every day, more and more people stop believing that the heroes are looking out for them. It's such an interesting dilemma. I figured if there was a leak, it came from my mom. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough, buddy. I abandoned her instead of saving her, even though I wanted to help people. I mean, he took the best chance he had to make any impact on anyone at all. I actually feel relieved, though. But yeah, this is as a reckoning for... As relieved as I can be right now. Hawks, we're starting from the beginning. Base up. Nobody's around to tell me what to do. Now there's nothing. That's tying uh -oh. me down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this a rec reckoning? Are we building back up? He's good enough, right? All Might's too expensive. <sighs> oh, no. A person's true nature comes to light whenever they're cornered. Or whenever they get a taste of real freedom. That's why I think Bubai Gawara was a good guy. Oof. Oof. That's the wrong team. Sure. But at heart, he wanted to help other people. I didn't I didn't know. I would never have guessed that he was carrying all this from the beginning. Everything's different now. So, what will you do? Good question. That's the big question, yeah. I've got to face my origin. By helping Endeavor. He's in trouble. Yeah, it is interesting that Hawk seems more alive now than ever. He could have been totally destroyed, and in, in some ways he has been. Like, he's de he's dead. The Hawks that we knew, or society knew, is gone. He made some really dramatic choices, and it's simultaneously thrilling and terrifying to watch this because, like he's saying, or like he's implying, I think, you kind of get the feeling that whatever we see from here on out is actually Hawks. It's going to be a more real Hawks than we've gotten before, which is kind of this cheerful, very positive, easy going, happy go lucky, <laughs> youthful hero. Yet he felt trapped or incomplete. I, in ways I can't fully explain, but I, I can feel, I think we have an innate sense of fear about this, but it's also right. Like, I think the ideal for any person is being fully who they are, fully realized, fully free. And some of that means letting go of the constraints that have been placed on them. Because although constraints are necessary, you want those constraints to be chosen. Otherwise, you get people who perhaps are inwardly unrealized, maybe even evil, but are just waiting for the chance to express that and can't. What's better than that is someone who knows exactly where the boundaries are because they're self-chosen and fully understood, fully internalized. But that's also a huge risk because we don't know where they'll land and that is just a huge leap of faith. Letting someone go through that, watching someone go through that and supporting them. Either way, what this allows for is Hawks to become an even more interesting character than he was before, which I'm here for. On a separate note about this ongoing question of how society is dealing with all this and Hawks commenting that people seem to be giving up on the idea of heroes being there for them. It's a long running thing in the show and it's a really great choice. It's very complex. It's hard to pin down, but I think the point at which heroes are optimally beneficial for society is is the point at which they are inspiring and create a sense of well-being without being a crutch. It's the extent to which heroes, by their good deeds, make other people better. If they're just a substitute for growth, if they're a substitute for other people doing what they need to do, and just become scapegoats for everything, that's the point at which I think it becomes unhealthy. So it'll totally depend on how it falls and what happens from here on out, but it's not inconceivable that this loss of faith in heroes, to a certain extent, could turn out to be a positive in the long run, once all the, the dust settles and this chaos is settled into a more productive state and isn't just destruction all the time. And on a final mid-card note, I can't believe how excited I am about the prospect of Best Genius rising to his best self. Isn't he the de facto number one at this point? With Endeavor kind of out of commission and Hawks doing God knows what, <laughs> just on his own. <laughs> doing his vigilante thing, I guess. We haven't gotten a title card yet either, right? This might be one of those like Hawks rising or one of those traditional ones, classic ones. They watched as heroes failed them repeatedly and villains took control of the streets overnight. Yeah, those Strain guys are free now. Much. Something had to break. I'm excited to see what role Stain plays, too. I wonder what Stain will think about all this. Ah, uh, you feeling tough today, old man? A support item? We don't need pros! <laughs> yeah! Oh, this is going the Korra route. Tech might even the playing field. They knew exactly what products to turn to. Plus! Armed civilians without training in combat against chaotic villains. This feels like a whole arc in the making. Plus! Where were you? What took you so long? The best support item, frying pan. Wash didn't deserve this. Still curious how this guy ended up rising so high in the hero rankings. I have no choice but to fall on my sword. Most were moderately Literally? successful professionals. Some were veterans who coasted on reputations from the old days. Why quit when we need you the most? Damn it, man! I was your man! Yeah, that doesn't seem like the right answer. People just giving up when they're needed most. We took peace for granted. Yep. And now, I've been saying that for so everything long. Everything in turmoil. This continues to just shock me. This image. 
get chills watching it. How many of us will remain? There he is. The anger. The blame for every tragedy and setback was directed at a single shattered man. It's just going to come down to a handful of individuals who are strong enough to stomach this and still rise again. The events of this season so far have been unspeakable in their in their levels of tragedy, but one tiny sliver of optimism is that this is a chance to rebuild, and it will just come down to who has the will, who believes in it the most, who can form the strongest bonds with other like-minded people, stomach the pain and discomfort of living in this hell for a little while and not having any guarantee of the outcome, and get up despite the negative publicity, despite people hating you, despite people having no faith in you, and doing what you feel needs to be done, answering to your own call of what feels right. Whichever side, whichever group of people can do that better and stronger and more cohesively are going to be the ones to shape society for an indefinite amount of time in the future. This is like the restructuring of all of at least Japan's hero society. We're finding out who's who. I'm still alive. It's another journey for an endeavor. It's another moment at the bottom again. You. Somehow it feels like an even deeper low. My child was going to die in front of me and I, I froze. Genus showed that Dobby was wrong about some things, but the truth about me is undeniable. It's understandable, but hope he can get through this and come out with something productive, useful. The hero I was, Endeavor, is dead. I can't fight my own son. <laughs> Give him this moment. Give him this moment and support him. Give him a chance to come back. I failed, and it's too late. My regret. And my guilt, too. Everything. My heart is breaking. Oof. I feel like this is, this is hard to watch. It hurts, but... I think this is positive. For his kids to see him be this vulnerable, and his wife too, and for Endeavor to process what he needs to process. He's half right. He failed a lot. His failures are pretty severe, and they continue to haunt him. But he's wrong that it's over, that this is the end of his story. It'll depend on what he does next, as long as he's alive. I came to talk to you about our family and about Toya. That's what it is, the hellish Todoroki family part two. That episode was phenomenal for being kind of a quiet, introspective look at some of the characters that were involved in the incident, seeing the fallout on their psyches, on their trajectories, and their relation to society as a whole, with differing levels of public perception about them. I think there's a running theme in this episode that makes it feel really cohesive, which I was kind of alluding to earlier with society, but it applies to the characters as well. This is complete destruction. It's a death in a way. But there's that idea of death and rebirth, right? They're not actually dead. It's an identity death. It's a belief death, and that creates a vacuum, and it's up to them what they create in the rebuild. That's true for Endeavor, it's true for Hawks, it's true for Best Genus, it's gonna be true for Deku when he wakes up. I don't think it's wrong, you know, I don't think it's wrong for these heroes and for society to be having this crisis, to be having this moment of deep despair and confusion. I think that's a healthy part of the process. I just think the next step is being really, really careful about what you put there next. Just in instinctively, I can feel how dissatisfying it would be if this was just the end for Endeavor, right? Like, it just broke him. Compared to how much better it would feel if he, yeah, he, he goes through this grief, he processes it, he breaks down. He accepts full responsibility for his mistakes in the past. He seeks to make amends. And then he gets up and makes it right. Or at least he lives according to his newfound sense of desire to set things right. The outcome is kind of secondary to that. It's him not shying away from the, the pain and the burden that it places on him. It's a really impactful and emotional episode. It covers a lot of the characters in, in a new level of depth, which is really, really cool. It's exciting. For the first time in a while, no, no major villains. This is more of a, a catch up and a look on the main professional hero tier, not the students. And it's really nice highlighted and contrasted with the fact that the heroes or a lot of the heroes are just kind of giving up they just can't bear it you know they're broken that also to me is understandable i don't even blame like in the last episode where uraka was watching the hero just kind of freeze and get stuck and said he couldn't do it anymore like i totally get it and full empathy to that guy but yeah like hawks was pointing out there was a time of relative peace it was a really conducive environment for a lot of them this is the real test this is the biggest test they've ever faced which also means it's one of the greatest opportunities the heroes have ever faced both in their role in society and as individuals. This is going to be rough, it's going to be painful, but it's also going to make new legends of epic proportions. And you just hope that what's rebuilt is good for the individuals involved and, by extension, a society that for so long has kind of felt asleep. Mm -hmm.